Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. I'm going to show you how to get details of the property of that cadence cells. So what is that property? Let me first show you. So if you'll go to this blue prism, go to system tab, go to security tab and then click on this cadence cell, select your cadence cell, edit this and here you can see we have additional properties. So, let us say you have some properties you have created here against this cadence cell then you can get this property and you can use in your process. Now this property can be anything let us say if you want to create new you can just currently this row is empty so we can update here next time if you want to add one more you can just click on that. Now let us say against this cadence cell against this username. I am going to set one uh, property. So, property can be anything. Let us say I am going to update uh, for uh, your client name that you do not want to uh, share with any other. So, your client name you want to update something. So, here it will take that client name as a password. You can see here it is taking like password. So, sometime what happens like might be you are working on an on any application and in that application you will have a different password. One for the login password, second for the transaction password, right. You will have seen that whenever you will log in into your in internet banking and then that is just to log in. But if you want to do some other things like you want to make payment, you if you want to make the fund transfer then you have to enter the your transactional password. So, that can be you need to enter here. So, let us say this is our client password or client something like that or any other. So, you can just update that password here. Let us say I am going to write here. I am writing here that value. So, I have updated the property here. This I am not saying that this is just a password this can be anything depends on your credential. Once you will start working on these things you will get to know about that more. You can add more properties here right. Now, I am going to show you how to get this property. Now, click OK, go to this, refresh this. Now, let me delete this, this is currently not required and let me take one action stage so that I can show you how to get property value, select credentials and from here select get property. Now in this we need to pass credential name and the property name. So credential name we already have here in our environment variable and property name we need to enter. So, currently I am going to pass here default that is client underscore pass. So, this is our property name that we just created here. You can see here this is the name we need to pass and in the output we will be getting the value of that property. It means we will be getting this, this property value. So, here create this and you can see this is the property value and this property value is under password data type right. Now click OK and let me link this here, reset, refresh, right click, set next stage and now run this. Now you can see here this is our property value, we have got this one, you will be getting like A, B, C has something. Let me change to the text, click OK, right click, set next stage and now you can see here our property value is this ABC has test. So, this is the same value that I updated here in the additional property. So, by this way you can get that as a password and you can use in your project. So, as it is taking as a the input is password it means this is something like transitional password. So, I hope you got to know about this additional property and this get property. 
if so then please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video